Hey everyone, Alex here with Heckman Productions. Thank you for checking out another video. Today I'm going to be going over some of the tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys about installing dirt bike graphics. Stick around. So installing dirt bike graphics can be a little intimidating for some people. I know it was for me uh, before I did it my first time. But with the proper techniques and the proper tools, it actually is not that hard of a job. So we'll go ahead and go over some of the tips and tricks that I have learned from installing graphics myself and hopefully I'll be able to help you guys a little bit. So first let's go over a couple of the tools that you're going to need to properly install your graphics. So the tools you're going to need are a razor blade, an alcohol based cleaner and then a rag to use that with, scissors, a squeegee and most importantly a heat gun. So step one to installing your graphics is preparing the bike. Whether you have brand new plastics or old plastics that you're putting your graphics on, there's a level of preparedness that you need to do. So if you have brand new plastics like myself, you still want to go over all of the surfaces with a alcohol-based cleaner because all new plastics come with an oily residue on it and you don't want to put the graphics on that because that will affect the stiction of the graphic to the plastic. If you're using old plastics to put your graphics on, you want to take a razor blade and scrape out any scratches that might be in the plastics because the more scratches and bumps that there are, the more likely you are to get air bubbles in your graphics. Also, you might as well take your sheet off while you're preparing the bike as there's a few graphics usually that require you to take the seat off and it just makes it easier to reach. So after you have the bike prepared, you're ready to start applying graphics to your plastics. So a couple of the tricks that I have learned is to keep as many plastics on the bike as you can. That way you don't have to worry about maneuvering the plastic around, you only have to worry about moving the graphic around. Now there's a few pieces that it is, easy, is easier to take it off the bike. Personally, I take off my fork guards and my front number plate as the fork guards just are hard to reach around with the wheel there and then the brake lever always gets in the way of the front plate. And then I also usually take off my side number plates just because those are always a pain in the butt. So I like to have as much room to work with when I'm doing those. So as you start applying the graphics, personally I like to do the front number plate and the forks first and then put them on the bike. But the key is to start with easy graphics first. Now the front end of the bike usually is pretty easy. Usually after I do the front plate and the fork guards, I'll do the front, or the front fender. And by doing the easy graphics first, you're able to wrap your head around how the graphic is sticking, things that you might need to do differently for the bigger graphics, and just you're able to get into a flow and a rhythm of applying the graphics. Now it's very key to be patient while you're applying these graphics. It's very easy to rush things and then you get it stuck and you have to start all over or maybe even get it reprinted. Nobody wants to do that. You want to make sure that you get them applied, be patient, take your time, Use the heat gun to work out wrinkles in the plastic and you should be okay. So after you do your easier graphics and you're starting to move to the bigger graphics like the shroud and the airbox cover and the rear fender, one really handy thing is to cut out the backing paper and then reapply it after cutting out a strip. By cutting out that empty strip you're able to line it up without the whole thing sticking and then press down in the middle of that graphic to get it stuck and then after that you can remove the backing paper and slowly work your way across with your fingers or a squeegee to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles or air bubbles and just slowly work your way through the graphic. That's really really handy when you have symmetrical graphic designs such as on the rear fender. You can work your way from the middle out and especially with these different contours just taking your time and doing one side at a time is definitely the best way to go. As far as the shroud goes, I like to start at the top part and line up that cutout hole for the bolt and then work your way down. Now the side plate is undeniably the most difficult graphic to install, which is why I always keep mine for last. 
Especially on this 2017 CRF250R, the side plate design has such a complex curvature to it that the graphic almost instantly wants to wrinkle. But you can still apply the same technique as the other big plastics. You want to cut out the middle, cut out a strip of the middle to get the middle stuck, and then work your way either on the top first or the bottom first. You don't want to do them both at the same time because you're definitely going to get some wrinkles and air bubbles. And with the side plate, you're definitely going to have to use your heat gun more. So I like to put a piece of the backing paper over my fingers so that I can grip the graphic without getting fingerprints all over it while using the heat gun and working it across along. And this is a graphic where having patience is super important. So there you have it. There are my tips and tricks for installing motocross graphics. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope some of the things that I said will help you in applying your own graphics. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.